Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we'll see how to use the Reed and Litzenberger formula to derive the risk neutral density function from European co options um, under the Heston model with stochastic volatility, of course, and we will implement as usual the Python code together. So, first thing to do is to import the, the needed uh, libraries and packages. So, we, we just have two, which are NumPy as MP, and then to, to plot the density function at, at the end of the video, we use matplotlibrary.pyplot as PLT. Okay, now we set the Heston model parameters, which we'll use uh, later on to 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 try and test our own functions and uh, okay i just write heston's heston models parameters uh, okay we have some of them so first we have the spot price for instance 100 then we have the strike price 110 so uh, in the money uh, sorry out of the money because uh, as we consider European local options, then we have the maturity, one year, then we have the risk free rate, for instance, 5%, the dividend yield, which is not mandatory, but we consider 1%, just to, to let you know that uh, there is also this possibility. Then we have the initial volatility, so 5%, then we have the parameters of the Aston model, so we have K, Kappa, which is the, uh, the mean reversal rate, and uh, we can consider, for instance, one. Then we have theta, which is the mean reversal level, which is 5%. Then we have the, the vol of vol, sigma, the volatility of volatility, so 30%. And finally, the rho, which is uh, the correlation between the stock price, the spot price, and the volatility, and for instance, minus 50%. And okay, now we can uh, start with the actual code of this video. So we define a, a new function, which is the Heston PDF, so probability density function. And uh, as, uh, as you can imagine, this function computes the probability density function of the Heston model. And the parameters are the one we have just uh, we just seen so s k t r d v zero kappa theta sigma and rho and uh, okay inside we can define other functions so first of all we have the characteristic function which as input we just have uh, a value u and uh, okay, it's, it's just a bit boring, but we need to, to do it because we we just have to write the the proper equations of the of the Heston model. So omega, first we compute omega as kappa minus sigma times one uh, imager, imaginary number, then times rho and times our input number u. Then we create this variable to just to not repeat every time the, the at power two. So we create sigma two. Then we have theta two. Okay, I just copy and paste it. We have theta two, then omega two, and finally u. Okay, I just need to to change this. So theta, omega, and u, and here the same. So theta, omega, and u. Okay, now we have our the main part of the Heston model, so all the, the equations. So alpha is equal to one minus omega squared over four theta squared, so four times theta two. That uh, here you see the reason I, I just saved these variables because we're going to use many times. Then we have beta, which is kappa times theta minus sigma squared times rho times u times one imaginary number. 
over 2 times theta squared, 2 times theta 2. And then we have gamma, which is sigma squared over 2 theta squared. And then we have uh, other three, three parts, so we call it D, G, and C. So D is the square root, and from NumPy we, uh, we have this function, so mp dot asqrt uh, of omega squared minus 4 theta squared times alpha minus 1. Then G, we were almost done, so g is omega minus d over omega plus d so omega minus d over omega plus d and finally we have uh, the last variable c which is one minus one imaginary point times u times beta beta minus gamma times u squared u squared over 1 minus g times the exponential, again from NumPy, mp dot exponential of minus d times t, the maturity. And uh, okay, so now we can return our variable, which is the, exp if the, the exponential of, again, one imaginary point times u, times the, log, uh, the logarithm, so mp dot log of s plus risk rate minus the dividend yield times maturity and all of these times c, which is the value we just computed. Now we have the breeden lietzenberger formula. So um, now we have this new function to compute the PDF, so the probability density function of uh, an input uh, value x. So we have u is just the, the log minus, so it's equal to mp dot log of k over x. And then we can return the, the PDF. So 1 over x times the strike price times uh, pi, so mp dot pi times the imaginary part of the characteristic function valued in, evaluated in u minus 1j over one, uh, u minus 1j, again, with parentheses, so 1 uh, sorry, u minus one imaginary point. And then outside of everything, we can return PDF. This is a common structure in uh, when building some uh, nested Python functions. And uh, here you see the, the whole uh, function Heston PDF to compute the probability density function of the Heston model. And then we can start uh, uh, testing our function, which is the, the most interesting part. So first we compute the risk neutral density function. So PDF is equal to our function Heston PDF evaluated in, and then I just copy this one. So we have all the inputs. This is the reason just for simplicity. I use the same name for the input variables and then uh, our local variables. And uh, that's it. And here we have our PDF. Just if you print, you do not, you're not going to see any, anything. Okay, just the function. And uh, we have just created this function. Then we create a range of stock price, which we we'll use to, to plot the, the density function. So with mean space from 90% uh, of, of the stock or the spot price to the 110% of the stock price. And uh, we we see we use uh, a thousand of you generate a thousand of values, and then we, we compute the density. So density is equal to PDF of S range. So we compute the density at each spot price, 
and the, for instance if i print it you see this is a huge array so i you know if if you want just the first five values density of zero column five and uh, okay just to, to to visualize it in a chart we can plot the density function so we have plt dot plot this is why i imported the matplot library pyplot and we have s range density then the x label is the spot price then we have the y label which is the density then we can i don't know entitle it so uh, we create risk neutral so uh, and risk neutral density function under the SM model and uh, okay we show it and this is the end of the video because you see this is the risk neutral density function under the SM model and of course you can uh, use and exploit this this function uh, to trading options risk free according of course to the SM model so it's not uh, a global risk free but it's risk free according to the Heston model. And uh, this is the end of the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, so thanks for watching and see you in the next uh, next week for a new tutorial.